be dressed yourself today. Good job, pal. I didn't know what to What's do this mind? morning because Frank actually dressed himself. I had time to, like, just wake up. For his first attempt, he managed to get himself up, dressed, and had his bag ready to get on that school bus. Well done. <laughs> and it was Mum's turn to wake up Skylar, and as far as Danielle was concerned, it was like, brace yourself. I'm getting nervous. I don't feel like fighting with her this morning. So what are you going to do then, fight or not? I'm not. <laughs> OK, let's go then. So she took a great big deep breath, and off she went into Skylar's room, and Skylar did not Butch. Come on, baby, it's time to wake up, okay? Got a couple minutes before your alarm goes off. I've done the blinds, the lamp on. That's it. In the beginning, I was like, Jiminy Crickets, here we go again. <laughs> I don't even want to begin. So the alarm clock went off, but Skylar didn't budge at all. Skylar, come on, honey, we have to go to school. No. I want you to put on the clothes that you chose last night. No. Come on. OK, pull back the duvet cover. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. She needs to brush her hair. So if she turns around, she's not getting dressed, she's not brushing her hair. I want to get out of the room for five minutes, then we come back in. Skylar, I'd like to see you get dressed for me, sweetheart, and then I want you to go brush your hair, OK? No. And I know you can do it. I'm not. Well, that's your choice, Skylar. If you want to go to school in your pajamas, that's your choice. I'm not going. So come and show, come and give mommy a call when you got yourself dressed. Come and give mommy a call at the door when you got yourself dressed so I can see, okay? No. Okay, that's good, Danielle. Let's relax. What I want to do is let her understand that you are sticking to your guns, okay? Mum stood her ground, but Skylar was not ready to compromise. 